The treasurer Ian Linstaki will be calling key leaders together in January to find a solution to the problem of government checks bouncing when they are deposited by legitimate PNG businesses after having been comprehensively vetted and endorsed by the administering government agency and finally approved for payment by the departments of finance and treasury. Stucky says this is unfair for local businesses and the national government. He said the entire government caucus during 2020 on several occasions have expressed their frustrations and demanded a complete stop by the Bank of PNG and commercial banks in dishonoring government checks when sufficient funds are clearly available. He adds economic recovery from the global COVID-19 pandemic depends on PNG businesses and farmers being able to restart and sell more of their produce to local markets. And with the government providing 211 million kina through the COVID-19 support packages to be spent at local levels by district and provincial administrations, the government is moving to a more decentralized process with more funding going through the local level. However, he is concerned these reforms and recovery efforts are being undermined by government checks being bounced when deposited into commercial banks. He said members of parliament are angry with this practice and made a strong call for this to stop. The treasurer in the January meeting, he will summon all the heads of the private banks, the governor of the Bank of PNG, the secretaries of finance, treasury, planning and any other relevant departments and experts in payment systems from the World Bank and other areas to discuss how PNG can modernize its payment systems. Stucky says the business of government is being forced to slow down at a time when support for economic recovery is required and even though the government is making attempts to help, the process has been frustrated by excessive red tape. Stucky in a statement said good payment systems must balance the need for ensuring all payments are properly authorized and executed in line with international obligations such as anti-money laundering and countering terrorist financing while also being efficient. He said many members of parliament have called for a review of the Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorist Financing Act 2015 or to look at how it is being interpreted and then incorporated into the payment process by the Bank of PNG and commercial banks to determine if this is the reasons for bounced checks. Ruth Rungula, National MTV News.